Never leave behind unidentified items. You can use the skill item identification to discover if your newfound loot is ready to make you millions or if it's better off as arcane dust. Arcane dust is used as a component for aspect gear, so even if the item you ID isn't great, you'll still be able to turn that magic item into something useful for you. Today we're going to cover a script to help you train item identification, use your new ID skill on magic items, and then save the best of that loot. This is a good opportunity for using an alternate character, as the item ID skill probably won't be part of your main build. There are a few ways to identify loot, single clicking an item using the identification skill or an ID wand, or clicking an entire container using the ID skill, which you must be 120, or an ID container wand. First, we'll cover a simple training script that you can run in an alt to get your skill to 120. The script is pretty straightforward. It will be posted in GitHub. What we're gonna do is while our skill and item identification is less than 100, we will use the item ID skill wait for our target, and then just target our backpack dagger. The skill is a two second cooldown. We'll just run this until we hit 100. You do gain faster in the shelter dungeon up until 70. So make sure you're in there if you wanna level up quick, quickly. On an alternate character, you should start at 50 cardio and 50 item ID. It takes about 15 minutes to go from 50 to 70 in the shelter dungeon. And from there, it takes about another eight hours to get to 100. You do need skill scrolls to make it to 120. So if you're new, just hold it 100 for now. Once we have a character that can identify our loot, let's take a look at how we can recycle items. You can use almost any crafting cool type. For this example, we'll do a map maker pen. There's options for a recycle single item. And if you click through this, you can see different options. Recycle regular of type, recycle all of type, all magical, entire backpack. If you try to recycle something that's not identified, it will give you a message that cannot be recycled. So let's identify the items using a script now. I've broken down each type of script we might want to run into separate groups. If you head over to the Outlands repo under the skill list, item identification, we have multiple scripts here. Um, I broke down the, the main ID scripts into five things. There's a train script, which is the one we just covered. And then there's a run ID weapon, run ID mage, run ID bard, and run ID armor. We're gonna review the armor one first. Basically what the script is gonna do is it's gonna ask you for a source container and then where do you wanna store the good items? In the case of this armor script, I'm only saving the fortification or invulnerability items. And then here is the list of armor types that are available on Outlands. I went through this on Test Center. I went through every item type and I saved it. So no more guessing of like source code or anything that I mentioned in the other video. This, these are the item types. In order for this script to work, we're gonna assume you have some identification skill. Basically what happens is we're gonna loop all these items, very similar to what we did in our previous script, but instead of just moving them, we're gonna say if it's undefined in the description, we're gonna use skill item ID and target that item and wait two seconds. So the first time it runs, it might find this item. It's gonna keep running until it actually IDs the item. If it has fortification or invulnerability in the description, we're gonna move it to our good items store container. Else, we'll just drop it into our backpack. The reason why I wanna put it in our backpack is because we'll end up just using the recycle all, recycle entire backpack at the very end of all these scripts. That way we can just run all of our loot at once. And that's it. So I've already run the script. I'm gonna go ahead and insert some video here of uh, me running these throughout the night. But let's recover the, the next one just so we can see how it's gonna continue. So the next one will be uh, weapons, for example. Uh, and same thing. So these are all the weapon types that are on Outlands. And it's the same script, except the only thing that changed is the descriptions we're looking for. So in this case, I wanna say power vanquishing and then uh, supremely or exceedingly. If you wanna change yours, you can, but that's just the default script that I'm using. And the reason why I broke these into different scripts is not only for ease of use, but also that you can kind of choose what you wanna run, right? Like maybe you only wanna organize certain items. All right, here's just one more example of how it's gonna work. So here's the run weapons example. I have weapons that are unidentified in this container here. we will play. It's gonna want a source container, which are in here. And then I wanna save the good items into this box here. It's looping all the items it identified a might. That will go in my backpack. Passing will go in my backpack. Might will go in my backpack. 
the accurate spear will pull my back back. Surpassingly. There, and all done. And in order to make sure that I want to get rid of all these items, we will use the tool, pen tool, recycle entire backpack, and recycle, pick myself. Recycled multiple items. Here is my new arcane essence. All right, so there you have it. If you have any questions, okay, let me rephrase. If you are rich and you've been playing outlines for a while, chances are you can just get a magic item recycler and it would do all this work for you. Uh, this script is more for people that are either new to the server, don't have a recycler, or just like scripting. Hmm. If you want to find more information about the item recycler, Pwnstar recently did a video about that in more detail. I'll link that in the description just so you can check it out. So let me know if this works for you. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, don't forget to smash that like button while you're here. Hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.